What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide and today we are taking a look at the Brazilian beast Marquinhos. This guy, lads, I think this guy is probably one of the best free players that they have released. You play 15 matches in your match pass and then obviously you're going to be able to get an absolute monstrosity of a player that can play right back, centre back. A lot of people that watch um, my live streams and stuff were saying that he is unreal. We did unlock him. We will be getting him here in a second in this video. As you can see here, we do have a lot of really good players on view in this um, selection. But I genuinely do think that this is probably one of the best cards. It's very, very close to the Brazilian pack card that they released, right? So we are going to sign him live on this. And I'm going to show you exactly how to train him up, depending on how you want to... Um, you know, how you want to play with him, what role you want to play with him. I still think that he's best as part of a back three because he's so reliable and so flexible to be able to get across and versatile to be able to get across the back three. He's got 90 across his team play style proficiency. He's also got really good acceleration with defensive stats straight off the rip. And of course, he also has interception, blocker and fighting spirit, which is huge. And build up play style is massive as well, especially with the way that the gameplay has kind of changed with the shift to V2.5, right? So we are going to go over to V or <laughs> to eFootballDB.com and we're going to take a look at two different versions of Marquinhos, who is an absolute unit in my opinion, right? 21 levels to go. As I said, right, this is the base version of him. So you've got 80 defensive uh, awareness, 83 tackling, 81 defensive engagement, and 71 acceleration. The Brazilian version of him is identical. This is the pack that they released as part of the Brazil club or the Brazil national team um, special edition pack that they released when they released, you know, during the, Euro, during the World Cup. Um, this Marquinhos was a big hit with a lot of players and still to this day, a lot of the pro players and a lot of the top 500 players in the world will use him. The only thing that lets him down is obviously his form, even though he does have unwavering form, he can play pretty much in any squad and not let you down. His standard version is quite good as well, but it only has 18 levels to go the same as this. And it's one less in pretty much everything, including defensive awareness and tree and tackling, which does make a difference. So this guy is probably one of the best free players that they have released. And as I said, he is identical to the Brazilian pack, right? Um, never mind any of this basic info for the player skill lads that needs to be updated on eFootballDB. They are working on it. So this version of him here is pretty simple. We're going to just focus on him as a right back. If you are, you know, using him as part of a really solid 4-4-2 or a 4-5, um, uh, or a 5-3-2 or 5-2-3 or anything like that, where you're going to have a lot of, you know, defense in your squad, right? I've seen people use like five really, really strong center backs across the back of the pitch. And obviously Marquinhos can play right back. Um, and then you could have somebody like Alaba playing left back. He still qualifies as a center back. And then you could have Van Dijk, Rudy, uh, Rudiger and you know, somebody like Beckenbauer or whoever you wanted to use as your center back or Van Dijk um, and have a really dominant team that will be extremely hard to break down, right? But if you're looking for kind of a, a, a really solid defensive-minded right back, they are kind of hard to come by. This guy is probably the best in the game. You've got 80 acceleration, 80 balance. You've also got 74 ball control with 73 low pass. And then you've got all these defensive stats in the 90s apart from the aggression. Now, I would make one slight variation to this because of my play style and the way that I like to have it out wide. I would make one uh, adjustment to this where I would take one off defending there and I would probably put it to passing to 75. And I pop one more onto dribbling to get that tight possession up, especially because his play style isn't going to really come into it playing as a right back, right? So that is one option that you could do for him uh, if you are looking for a very solid right back that doesn't really go forward much. Like he's not going to go forward like your Roberto Carlos will go forward. Next up, we have, and a lot of people have been asking me about this version of him. This is probably the best version of him, and this is how I'm going to train him. Obviously, we'll take a couple of different decisions um, if we are training him to kind of be build-up play style. But look at these stats, man. 13 into defending gives us 93 awareness, 96 tackling, and 90 aggression, as well as 94 defensive engagement. But on top of that, yes, he isn't the tallest center half. That's why I'd play a good giant beside him. But you've got 86 header and 87 jump. Insane, right? Insane. Um, and you've also got 75 speed, acceleration, balance, physical contact is 76 and stamina is 77. The low pass is 75, tight possession is 71. This is like stat wise and the player skills that you have here. I mean, I don't know, is there a stronger card or is there three or four stronger cards than this? 
if his height was just a tiny bit more i think he'd probably be one of the best cards in the game defensively and also with the additional skills with v2.5 we could give him anything that he's lacking here if we want to play him as a right back we could give him double touch if we want to play him um you know as our center back we, we're not really missing anything here um we're not missing anything that you could possibly want he also has low lofted pass and um weighted pass we could play him as a dmf if we were playing him as a dmf i would make one slight change to this in that i would take off the, this down to probably 80 yeah i'd leave defensive engagement at 90 so it'd be the similar thing there go my airpods and i would take off um i would add passing because he's got the passing stats we don't need to go too much higher than 78 79 um but i would probably add a little bit more more dexterity so if i couldn't get that i'd probably try and get 80 dexterity so it's kind of a mix between the both cards and the both versions that we trained up there right so we've got the same defense um as the right back but we don't really focus too much on dribbling with this one um we're going to focus a little bit more on passing right and we don't really need aerial strength so we could get another little passing in there if we wanted to as well and be able to cover a bit more ground right so there is different versions of him that you could try but let me know what one you do choose i definitely recommend him there's only one more five star nominating contract that i recommend above marquinhos and that is for a different reason altogether so let me know what you lads think we're after buying him there uh with our five star i'll be back in a little bit peace